Welcome back to the good old Southern Eye. Before we jump in, I want to say a big thank you to everybody that's donated in support of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. If you didn't know, my nephew Jet was born with cystic fibrosis. Uh, my sister talked about it in the last video. I'll, I'll put a link up there. If you want to go check it out, see what the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation is about. We are up to $1,340. Uh, that is without Molly and I's matching $500. So we're up over $1,800 for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Uh, I'm going to leave that open for uh, this video and maybe uh, close it on the next video. Truly. Um, Thank you guys, it's it's pretty awesome. Pretty cool to see the generosity of people. Today's gonna be a tillage day for us. Um, not really dry enough to plant. I think it's maybe dry enough to plant around up around Oski and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure they're maybe going up there. I think we're staying down around here. Uh, we have absolutely no corn in the ground. That's not like a shocker. Or should be a surprise to anybody. Um, seems like there's very, there's very little to no corn in the ground anywhere in Iowa, but it's starting to roll now. We need to get some ground opened up. We need to get some ground drying. That's what I mean by opened up too. Seed bed laid up. That's what we're going to be doing today. I think we got two tillage tools running today. Andrew's probably going to be running the VT. I think my dad might be spraying. Um, VT will probably be hitting some corn stalks so we can get some corn stalks dried out. Again, that's something that we don't normally do. Normally we like to uh, just no-till our soybeans, but the carpet weed has gotten pretty bad in some places, plus the ground is still wet. We're getting late. Can't do everything that you want to do every single year. Instead of doing a burn down, we're doing an iron down. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but oats. We've got a couple of things I need to do to this gal here this morning. I'm gonna be put a decal on, but that's really not that important. But I'm gonna fire it up, let it uh, warm up, then I gotta put up a safety chain. I'll probably throw those decals on just to get them. Thank you, Picasso. There's the lend a hand set up. Everybody needs a blue healer that won't get up into a tractor because he knows I'm going to pick him up. He very much so knows how to run up the tracks. But you like being a curd, don't you? So if you can't tell by Van's panting, the air conditioning in here is not working. It, well, it's working just so slightly, but it's it's about 100 degrees in here. Not torturous yet, but it's, it's very uncomfortable, and I can tell Van it's uncomfortable. I'm gonna go take him to the truck so he can lay in the shade at the truck. The ground, however, is working nicely. Much nicer in here now. My neighbor's here to help me out. Bandit, stay up here, bud. We're back onto a piece of ground that's actually a no-till piece of ground. You're like, well, what do you got this here for? Um, there were some carpet weed patches out here. Mainly, there was a few washouts that had gotten really bad. He's brought his pasture harrow, so we're going to try and harrow down these ridges right here where the anhydrous shank went. This spring, which I've got a little bit of clips of that, not real perfect. Uh, I actually had to use an old GoPro, thing screwed up, yada, yada, yada. I do got a montage of it.
ridges right here where the anhydrous shank went uh, if it gets hit i think it'll just crumbled up okay level it out a little bit I actually like two years ago just completely no-tilled into it worked perfectly i got nothing against the no-till on it it's just this year the situations are not good so we're just trying to get things going the way we can realistically i would have liked to just plant right on top of those strips but they're too they're too cloddy because i had to pull the anhydrous uh in conditions that weren't the best yeah i think that's gonna work let's see what happens to this little weed even see what happens to it when he pulls over it Yeah, I like it. I like it when you can do a little experiment like that and it keeps it going. Ah, uh, what are we bargaining about? Oh, right, we got some company? Is that what you're saying? We got company? Here, rough, there, rough, everywhere, rough, rough. Works about what's going on. But it's. I, it, the ground's working good, but it, it's like it needs it needs all of today to to uh, yeah. So we're, I'm gonna try and play more tomorrow. Got some dinner. Like. Found some mud. They aren't too bad. Yeah. So we've had a little bit of a boo boo. Notice that cylinder there. This is a bit of an arch to it. For some reason, when I was unfolding it in the last field, it decided that it was going to uh, bend itself. I have no clue why it did it. Luckily, it still raises, still lowers, everything along those lines, but there's a bent cylinder now. I got Instagram. Got it. See, we still fold, and it actually has started to straighten itself back out, surprisingly. It was way bent and worse than that. I don't know why I did it, but it did. Another farm done here. This is actually uh, flood ground for the core. It's very interesting dirt, unlike anything else in the farm. I like good, it's just, it's flood ground. So, yeah. This is surprising, actually, first time today. Found something with the baskets. Ho ho! Did I ever find something with the baskets? Like a rebar. Oh boy. Come here. That wouldn't be good. Look at this farm here. It has a bunch of volunteer clover. Like a bunch of it. All those little mounds you see out there? Yeah, that's all clover. Crap. Say, got a tire. Dang it. Oh. Good or bad, that's the muddiest that thing's been since I uh, bought it. Uh, not last December, December before that. With the low tire, we quit last night. Didn't want to de-bead the tire, just in case it's just gotten low. And pump it up. Hey look, there's an emerged soybean, but it's probably one that's been dribbled. We've got a bit of a crust going on here. Not a big fan of, Ugh, I don't like that. There's Mr. Soybean working his way up. It's really interesting how they like bend the neck and then they like pull themselves up. Yeah, it's it's cool. Nature is neat. But maybe that's just a little bit of a shorter video here, guys. Um, do want to thank you again for everybody that has donated to the GoFundMe page. Um, really, uh, pretty awesome. We'll get that money donated. I'll leave that uh, GoFundMe open probably through uh, Friday or something like that this week which this is Wednesday for me, hopefully. But on how the day goes, I'll try and get you guys a video out. Like I said, these are gonna be more vlog style videos now that uh, trying to get a crop in and a late crop. So the, the pressure and the rush is 100% on. So I guess that means I'll see you guys in the next one, which is right now. Oh!
Look at that. A man of action. What time is it? 11.30.